Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to congratulate the negative team on making their case by using solid arguments and facts and by proving for once and for all, those things are boring. <laughs> Face it, losers. News is entertainment now. And you tried really hard, but the truth is you'll never measure up to the sheer entertainment value of a chubby homosexual, a pocket-sized lesbian, and a Jewish cricket enthusiast. <laughs> I didn't know you were Jewish. <laughs> We began, of course, with uh, Sammy J, who tried to convince us that truth beats fiction through the medium of mime. Interesting choice. He made fun of Carrie Bickmore. Come on, Sammy, we all know it's you in a wig. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, hey, uh, Donald Trump's brain, what do you think about Sammy J? Sammy J is a fucking horrendous person and a truly awful singer. <laughs> oh, what's that? We have some more breaking news as well. Some more breaking news. Let's cross to Tracy Spicer. More breaking news now, and we're receiving word that alleged comedian Sammy J stinks and is a poo-poo head. <laughs> he eats out of rubbish bins and has a small penis. What a loser. Spicer out. There you go. That's the truth, people. Janelle James was the next speaker. <laughs> Good on Janelle. Uh, congratulations for being here and openly being a, a proud American. At this point, that pretty much constitutes an intellectual disability. <laughs> Last year, an Ipsos poll found that fake news headlines about the US election fooled American adults about 75% of the time. You hear that, Janelle? Your brain no work good. <laughs> when you leave here, you make Australia great again. I believe they were talking about white people. Sorry. <laughs> Nicholson trying to convince us uh, good things about being real, which is pretty rich, coming from a ventriloquist's dummy. <laughs> hey, Trump's brain, what do you think about Reese Nicholson? Reese Nicholson is a terrible, terrible comedian. <laughs> Worth it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I believe there's some more breaking news from our newsroom. Tracy Spicer, what are you going to tell us? To disgusting news and shocking photos of mediocre comedians Janelle James and Reese Nicholson have been leaked to the media revealing them in compromising and potentially career-ending positions. Here we can see Janelle James converting with despised world leaders Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin. And here we can see the depraved Nicholson fulfilling his deviant sexual desires. Everyone in the world was quoted as saying, ooh, that's gross. We hate them and would never vote for them in any kind of debate context. There you go, everybody. There it is. I sent you that photo in confidence. <laughs> the future of the news has been decided, ladies and gentlemen. It is fake and we don't give a shit. By the year 2020, all the news bulletins will be presented by Pepe the Frog. All the articles will be written by Spam Bonts and every Walkley Award will go to Andrew Bolt. The Russians will ensure that all the world's leaders are vacuous, spineless puppets like Emperor Trump is. From British Prime Minister Harry Styles to the Australian Prime Minister Chuk Chuk Boom Girl. <laughs> Take it away, Tracy. Finally tonight, we here at Super Real Accurate News can report that Tom Ballard has officially been announced as the funniest and sexiest comedian at the 2017 Melbourne International Comedy Festival. He is the best of all the comedians. Everyone else is bad in comparison to him. Sources report that Ballard can bench 480 and cook a potato just by looking at it. What a stud. I'm Tracy Spicer, and you're not. Peace. Tracy Spicer, ladies and gentlemen.